Hello. Today I'm going to be reviewing. <coughs> Sorry. The Jurassic World Indominus Rex. Okay. This thing is wonderful. Yeah, the the screw holes are just something that bug me. It kind of looks like what it did in the movie. Um, it had it has a removable tail right here. The legs on this is a is a little bit loose. Um, you you cannot buy this at stores. Uh, you'd probably have to buy it somewhere on Amazon or. Um, or any online store, but they cost like sixty dollars. It its mouth opens very wide. Let me just open it. I forgot it makes sounds too. Uh, you can't really hold it too much, but. This is how wide it opens. Let's see if it can fit the path of running T Rex. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually does. Look. It could fit the Papo walking T Rex inside its mouth. Not really, but. I'm serious. It, that, that's, that's amazing. Okay. So, probably. So it probably opens its mouth to five feet, five inches then. Oh my goodness, it. One second. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, um, see, to measure, to measure how wide its mouth opens. It is, it's very good. Uh... Let's see how tall it is. Mine does have a loose have a loose leg. Uh, it's not ridiculously loose, but it's kind of in the middle. So let's see how tall this thing is. Okay. Oh, I will just do this thing. It's about 10 inches and about 20 inches long. Comparing it to the Papo Walking T Rex, it is the Papo is kind of small, so I'd pretend this is. If I had these two together, it would be a dwarf. I'd pretend it was like a juvenile or a dwarf T Rex. Basically, a small T Rex. It's probably it's probably one of the better Jurassic World toys. So, so it's kind of rubbery, like like some probably like some of the Jurassic Park toys. You can really see the details of it. Uh, down the feet, around the feet, it has these rubber claw, rubber claws. They're, they're kind of a rubberish, uh, like rubber. Um, and at the at the end of its tail, it's a little bit. There's kind of some soft plastic or rubber. And on the arms. It makes three sounds. Okay, it makes another one. Wait. So it also it also could change its colors when you 
And when it roars, look at that. I wouldn't say it is the best because, trust me, it is not. Wait, can you even see me? Wait, hi. Yeah, you can't. I don't think you could see me. Yeah, you can't. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna turn red heat. See? Here we go. It is red. It looks much better in real life than on camera. The color. It looks more of a pinkish color. But in real life, it's like a shining red. Okay, let's go back. They did a good job. It's pro I think this is probably the first dinosaur in the Jurassic Park films to have feathers. Because, you know, most of the dinosaurs are naked. They're just naked dinosaurs with no feathers. Okay, but that's going to be it. Goodbye.